Hi, I'm Mike, founder of GoodBed.com. Today we're gonna to be doing an in-depth side-by-side -side review of the Puffy and the Puffy Lux mattress. Now this is a great example of how we here at GoodBed prioritize our reviews based on input from our readers. Our readers have reached out to us about both of these mattresses, perhaps having seen them doing a promotional appearance on The Ellen Show, or perhaps having heard about them through other channels. So we're excited to show them to you, stick around. So one of the first things people want to know about a mattress is just how soft it is. And that might be especially true when the mattress is called puffy. So in the case of the regular puffy, which is the one I'm on right now, we classify this as actually a medium on our softness scale, which is right down the middle. Um, that's going to be kind of achieved through that combination of that super soft memory foam layer on top with that uh, more in-between transition layer down below that, which provides overall enough kind of a balance type of uh, resistance that it just puts it kind of right in the middle of our softness spectrum. Now, in terms of the Puffy Lux, you may recall uh, that has an extra inch of memory foam, so three inches of total memory foam, and that definitely does make it softer. So we would classify this one as a medium soft, uh, whereas this one is a medium. So medium soft being just to the softer side of medium for the Puffy Lux. So now let's get into what's actually in these two Puffy mattresses. And we'll start with the regular Puffy, which as you can see here is a 10 inch mattress with three total layers. Let's start at the top here. We have a two inch layer of what they call their cooling cloud foam, which is essentially a gel infused memory foam that is extremely soft. Um, and I'm just barely touching this foam and it is like just melting out from underneath my finger. Uh, so that's an extremely soft layer of memory foam on the top. Um, you can also see it's pretty slow responding in terms of its, uh, how it returns to its shape um, as things go. But because it's so soft, it's, not, it's quick to respond to your initial pressure to it. Uh, it's just that it's slow to res re return to its original shape. Then below that you have what they call their climate comfort foam which is not a, a memory foam. It's uh, basically just a polyurethane foam that is significantly firmer than this top layer, uh, but certainly it acts as a transition between this layer, uh, the, the top layer, and this firmer uh, support foam on bottom, which is a six inch layer. So two inches, two inches, and six inches is how the, the uh, uh, regular Puffy is constructed. Uh, they do not disclose the densities of any of these foams. So, we're flying a little bit blind on that. Um, we, could, we could make some guesses, uh, which we'll share with you later in the video when we get to our price and value section. Um, but for now, we just uh, want to mention that we do not have the densities for these. And then, of course, all this is wrapped in, in a, uh, a cover here, which is a nice cover. It has almost a little bit of quilting of its own, although not really. It's, it's just kind of uh, got a, a bit of loft to the fabric um, and certainly has some stretch to it. Um, some nice kind of softness in general, um, really kind of adds to the, the soft feel of the top of this mattress. Um, and they do also mention that this is a spill resistant cover. Uh, so that's worth, worth noting as well. Uh, now let's turn to the Puffy Lux. Now the Puffy Lux is thicker. As you can see here, this is a 12 inch mattress uh, that consists of four layers. You have on the top an inch and a half of that same cooling cloud foam that same super soft memory foam that we just showed you. Then you have below that uh, what they call plush cloud foam, which is also a memory foam and is also very soft. I mean, it might be, it might be a little less soft than this top layer, but it's very close. Uh, so essentially you have three inches of very soft memory foam up at the top of the Puffy Lux. Uh, then below that you have that climate comfort layer. That is a two inch layer. And again, it's the same thing where it's a, a polyurethane foam acting as a, a transition, uh, sort of an in-between level of softness between these very soft layers here. And then this firm seven inch support core here in the Puffy Lux. So, and then again, you do have uh, a very similar, if not uh, the same cover, in terms of uh, just got having that uh, softness and a tiny bit of uh, extra loft that it, that it adds. So there you have it, the construction of the Puffy and the Puffy Lux mattresses. So now we're gonna get into the two things that everybody has to get from their mattress, which are back support and pressure relief. And we're gonna tackle these separately for the two mattresses. I'm gonna start with the regular Puffy, which is the one I'm on now. And I'm also gonna start in the back position because that's the position I predominantly sleep in. And just for context, I'm about six feet tall, not quite 200 pounds. 
And what you can see here on the regular Puffy is that I'm well supported in this position. Um, I'm able to, my hips are able to sink into the mattress just enough that my lumbar is, is well supported here, but not so much that I'm experiencing any kind of hammocking or, or saggy type sensation. Um, so overall, great spinal alignment here in this back sleeping position for my weight, which is not surprising because I typically do well on that sort of medium level of softness, medium level of cushioning depth like this one has. Um, I generally think people lighter than me, back sleepers, are gonna be just fine on this mattress. Um, I guess if I have any concerns um, with back sleepers, it would be significantly heavier than me. I'm talking like 50 pounds or more uh, heavier than me. I would say I just have a little bit of a worry that there could be uh, not quite enough uh, firmness in these top two layers to prevent there being some a little bit of a hammocking effect. Um, but anything lighter than that, I feel I feel relatively okay as a back sleeper. Okay, let me go now to my stomach. Now this is the position I personally spend the least amount of time sleeping in, but what I can tell you is that I didn't actually have any issues uh, sleeping in this position. What I'm worried about always in this position is overarching of the back, because that's the, that's the biggest recipe for back pain when it comes to a stomach sleeper. And uh, I felt like for my weight, uh, I didn't have an issue. That being said, I'm always reluctant to recommend memory foam mattresses to stomach sleepers for fear of that overarching happening. And I do think uh, for that reason, I would not recommend this mattress to stomach sleepers who are heavier than me, uh, just for fear that, again, you could have a little bit of that overarching. However, I think stomach sleepers who are lighter than me, I think should be okay on this mattress. Uh, let's move now to my side, and this is now the position where you have to think about not only spinal alignment, but also pressure relief, because this is the position where you're most prone to pressure points, particularly in your shoulders and your hips. Um, for me, it happens to be most often in my shoulders, because that's the kind of broadest uh, part of my profile in this position. And what I look for is, first and foremost, on the spinal alignment side, uh, can the mattress conform and accommodate to my curves, which, which are most prominent in this shoulder area? And I'm pretty satisfied with how well it does that uh, for me. I'm able to get pretty far into the mattress, so that keeps the top of my spine in pretty good neutral alignment. Um, and overall, I think this would do pretty similarly well from a spinal alignment standpoint for most side sleepers who are lighter than me. Um, and even ones who are, are at least somewhat heavier than me. Um, where I have some concerns for some side sleepers would be when it comes to pressure relief. Uh, what I feel like I'm experiencing on this is that uh, at my weight, given like my broader shoulders, I pretty much am going right through, at least in the shoulder area, right through that top two inch layer of memory foam because we did talk about how soft that is. So that pretty much gets compressed underneath my shoulder and then all the pressure relief is coming then from that next layer for me, um, which is that transition layer, which is fine. Um, I'm getting adequate pressure relief, not the best, but, but adequate for me um, and didn't, didn't have any issues with pressure points sleeping on this. But I do worry that someone who is heavier than me, particularly if you're significantly heavier than me, you're going to not only be going through that top layer, but you're going to start to be seriously compressing that transition layer to the point where uh, your pressure release is going to be coming in part even from that firm support layer, which is probably not the best pressure relieving situation. So I do have a concern for heavier side sleepers uh, from a pressure relief standpoint on, on this mattress, but I just don't know exactly at what point how much heavier than me you'd have to be because I didn't have any issues. So, um, so that would be my overall take on the back support and, and uh, pressure relief situation for the regular Puffy. So now we've switched over to the Puffy Lux and we're gonna just do the same thing here. And I'm gonna start on my back. And here again, I feel like I was well supported in this back position. And I would say overall, my assessment would be similar. The one thing I would say is that on account of the deeper cushioning and the extra inch of memory foam, uh, that saw extra inch of soft memory foam in the Puffy Lux, I would probably say my threshold of concern for a back sleeper in terms of weight would be a little lower here, meaning um, I'd start to have concerns about back sleepers who are uh, maybe even only 25, 30 pounds heavier than me. I just don't know. Uh, but certainly I would be, that, that threshold of concern will be lower than it was with the regular Puffy in terms of whether or not you're gonna experience 
a little too much dip under your heaviest part of your body, which for all of us is our hips. But in general, I think anyone lighter than me, or for that matter, my weight, who's a back sleeper, I think would be, would be fine on the Puffy Lux. Um, now I'm gonna switch over to my stomach. And on this position, what I would say is, uh, I do on this mattress feel a little bit of a concern for even someone my weight as a stomach sleeper. I feel like you'd be better off if you're my weight as a stomach sleeper with the regular Puffy. Um, now, if you're significantly lighter than me, I think you'd be totally fine on the Puffy Lux. Um, but, uh, but in general, kind of that middle weight range, I'd probably steer as a stomach sleeper towards the regular Puffy. Just again, for fear of too much overarching, too much dip underneath the, the hip area. And certainly heavier stomach sleepers, uh, would generally I would not recommend a mattress with, with this much soft memory foam on the top of the mattress. Uh, so now let's turn to my side. And in this position, uh, the very first thing I notice when I get on this mattress is just uh, how much the pressure relief improves. Uh, the pressure relief really on the Puffy Lux is, is a marked step up. Uh, I think that's really kind of what you're getting when you step up to the Puffy Lux in addition to a different feel with other different characteristics uh, from the standpoint of kind of a more uh, concrete benefit. I think that the pressure relief for a side sleeper is definitely uh, superior. So um, I noticed it for sure at my weight. Uh, I think for sure also people who are heavier than me will benefit from that extra inch of, of memory foam. I also think people lighter than me will benefit from that extra inch of memory foam. There's probably a point uh, if you're significantly lighter than me, like at least 50 pounds, um, maybe 75 pounds lighter than me, maybe at that point you're gonna be a little more indifferent to uh, the Puffy and the Puffy Lux in terms of the pressure relief. Um, but, but certainly in my weight range and anything close to it, I think you're gonna really benefit from the added pressure relief. So uh, this, to me, if you're a heavier side sleeper, um, I would certainly steer you more towards the Puffy Lux. Uh, even a side sleeper in my uh, weight range, I would steer you towards the Puffy Lux. Really anything uh, at least um, 150 pounds or, or heavier, I would think you'd really benefit from the added pressure relief as well as additional conformance. I mean, it's, it, it even conforms more so to my curve. So even people who are um, curvier than me too, you're gonna be benefit from the Puffy Lux relative to the Puffy if you are a side sleeper. So now we're gonna get into what we call preference-based characteristics, which are things that are not better or worse. They're simply a matter of your personal preferences. And the first of these is a category we call responsiveness. And it includes both uh, the degree of that slow responding memory feel, as well as the degree of that quick responding bounce. Uh, in the case of these two puffy mattresses, we're gonna show you that these really fit way more towards that memory feel side of the spectrum. Um, we're gonna uh, show you that memory feel right now. This is the puffy Lux, And you can just see here, it's hard to tell a little bit because of the stretch cover, uh, but I'm just gonna just press in and you see like the big impression left by my fists there. And it takes definitely like four or five seconds to recover. Uh, same thing is true, but a little to a lesser degree with the regular Puffy, only because there's a little bit less memory foam in it. But otherwise, it is the same memory foam used. Um, so it's really kind of um, a similar experience in that respect. So definitely a lot of that slow, melty memory feel. Although, um, sometimes we talk about the ride with memory foam, where you get on the memory foam and you get that delayed reaction kind of on your way down, where you're slowly melting into the bed. Because this memory foam is so soft, there's not really a ride per se because you really kind of just settle right into your position. Uh, I mean, there's a tiny bit of delay maybe on this one um, because it has a little bit more memory foam, but overall, uh, it's, not, it's not that kind of experience because it is rather soft. It's gonna adapt really quickly to your body in that respect. The delay responsiveness is more on the way back. Um, in terms of bounce, we generally think of bounce at a few different levels of the mattress. Uh, we think about it to start with at the surface. Um, and you can see that really neither of these have any bounce because the top layer of these is both uh, memory foam. So memory foam is a shock absorbing material. It really does the opposite of bounce. Um, 
And then we think of the next way we think of it is the middle level of the mattress, where we kind of dro drop this 16 pound bowling ball uh, to test it. And I'll just show you on both of these that there really isn't uh, any bounce to speak of here. Um, I mean, there's a tiny little bounce back where it hits those uh, non-memory layers below, but it's a, it's a very modest amount of bounce. Um, and then we're gonna show you the deep bounce where I'm just gonna try to plop my full 200 pounds on the mattress. So you can see there's really not any deep bounce to speak of with either of these mattresses. Overall, uh, just the teeniest amount of bounce uh, in these mattresses and definitely a lot of that slow melting memory feel. The next preference-based characteristic we're gonna talk about is what we call cushioning depth, which is the difference between sleeping more in your mattress, getting that kind of hug or cradled sensation versus sleeping on your mattress or getting that floating above your mattress sensation. And in the case of the Puffy Lux, which is the one I'm on right now, we would definitely characterize this as having deeper than average cushioning. You're gonna get more of that hugged or cradled type of sensation sleeping on the Puffy Lux. It's not as deep as they come. There are certainly, in particularly in the memory foam realm, you do have ones that are even deeper and more closely conforming to your body than you have with this Puffy Lux, but this nonetheless is towards the deeper end of that cushioning spectrum in terms of the feel and the hugged and cradled sensation. By contrast, the regular Puffy mattress is probably more down the middle in this particular category, kind of a blend of uh, hugged and cradled versus floating on your mattress. So uh, we would consider that to be average cushioning depth. Next, we're gonna get into the characteristics of the mattress that we call more priority-based, meaning things that can be better or worse, but may or may not be a priority for you personally. The first of these is motion isolation, which as you may know, is a test of to what degree is the person on one side of the mattress gonna be aware of or disturbed by what's happening on the other side. And the first way we test this is by dropping this 16 pound bowling ball on the mattress to see what happens to that bowling pin uh, that's about three feet away. We picked this distance, by the way, to be consistent with the queen size mattress test that we normally do. So uh, you can see here that this bowling pin does not move. Uh, I mean, more than just the tiniest little flicker when I drop that bowling ball down. So now I'm gonna just put it to a higher test. I'll put my full 200 pounds down on the mattress and you can see um, it also does not move. no movement from that bowling pin. So certainly excellent motion isolation on the regular Puffy. And I would certainly expect to see the same result on the Puffy Lux, where there's even more of that shock absorbing memory foam. And you can see as expected that, you know, the, other than perhaps a little bit of stretch from that cover, tugging that uh, tempered glass that we have that pin on, there's not anything that's affecting that bowling pin. I'm gonna drop down with my full 200 pounds. And again, you see no movement. So imagine coming into bed that rough and your partner <laughs> having that little disturbance. Clearly both of these have what we would call excellent motion isolation. One concern for some people that is particularly common on a memory foam mattress, especially one with a fair degree of softness the way these ones have on the top, uh, is the ease of repositioning. No one wants that sort of stuck in the mud feeling. And so I wanna just cover that on these mattresses. And what I can tell you is that while these do have uh, a fair bit of that memory feel, in particular on the Lux, which is the one I'm on right now with that three inches of very soft memory foam, um, I don't think this is likely to be an issue for even most people who are maybe prone to this issue, mainly because this, this memory foam is so soft. Uh, so. What can happen on memory foam that has more surface firmness to it is that when, you're, when it's melted and conformed to your body and then you're trying to get out of it, you've got to come up over this firmness that kind of leaves you coming out of a hole and it's a little bit of a valley to get out of. This memory foam is so soft that just rolling out of it, it just immediately you know, conforms to you. So it's not uh, likely to be, I think, an issue for you on either of these mattresses. One important characteristic for a lot of people is edge support. So we always make sure to cover this in our reviews. And we've always noted in the past that this does not tend to be a, a signature strength of most all foam mattresses. And 
Here I am on the Puffy Lux, and I would say that for sure from this vantage point, it would not look like any exception to that rule. There is a substantial amount of dip here as I sit uh, right on the edge of this mattress. Um, so from that standpoint, I would say, yeah, um, not great edge support here. But what we were pleasantly surprised to see is that when you lie down on the edge of the Puppy Lux mattress, um, the edge support is actually much better than I would have expected. Um, now, I'm, I'm still compressing the edge a fair amount, but I do not feel unstable. Now, in a mattress with three inches of memory foam on the top, I would expect to be having that sort of slowly ejected from the bed type of sensation, and I'm not getting any of that. So, um, overall, in this position, I would say this does well above average for an all foam mattress and actually does something at least close to average, if not even a little above average in the sort of scheme of mattresses overall. And what we can report to you is that we also have tested the regular Puffy mattress and it even did better in these tests than the Puffy Lux. Uh, lying on the edge was even more uh, stable and less compressed, uh, which is not surprising because it has even uh, a little bit less of that super soft memory foam to the top. So overall, what we'd say is the edge support for both of these mattresses is at least okay, if not actually pretty good. One important characteristic for a lot of people is temperature or a concern with sleeping hot. And that can be a particular concern with an all foam memory foam mattress like either of these two puffy mattresses. So uh, one thing we do often say to people is that if this is something that is a particular concern for you, then there are other types of mattresses that offer sort of fundamentally more airflow uh, and other sort of cooling characteristics uh, than these two mattresses would. That being said, I also think it's equally important to state that this is not the kind of thing that's going to be an issue for most people. I, for example, am not someone who has a tendency to sleep hot and did not have an issue with sleeping hot on either of these two mattresses. But now moving on to what uh, Puffy has done here to mitigate these concerns in the case of these two mattresses, uh, what they have done is that they have used on the top layer of both of these mattresses uh, gel memory foam. And by incorporating gel into the memory foam, uh, gel is a conductor. So it does help the heat travel more efficiently away from your body uh, when you get on this mattress. So there is uh, a cooling benefit to that feature if this is a concern for you. One important characteristic for some people is the degree of natural materials in the mattress, or maybe more so just the lack of harmful chemicals. And in the case of these two puffy mattresses, it should of course be said that these are not natural mattresses in any way. However, there are a couple of things that the company has done to give you some additional comfort if this is a concern for you. The first of these is that all the foams used in these mattresses are certified to the CertiPure standard, which is a standard that looks for the presence of and off-gassing of various harmful materials and certifies that neither are present beyond some minimally acceptable threshold. Now that's pretty standard amongst a lot of their online competitors. However, uh, the second additional step that Puffy has done is that they've also had the cover of the mattress tested to the Okatex 100 standard, which is a similar process that looks for the presence of various harmful materials, uh, but has an even higher threshold in terms of uh, what they consider to be an acceptable level of those materials and even tests for more materials. Um, so. Uh, now, the, the cover, of course, is not the place in a mattress where you're most likely to find uh, issues in this regard, but nonetheless, they have taken an extra step, and I do think that these two things collectively are a couple of things that can give you some added reassurance if this is an area of concern for you. So as part of our review of the Puffy mattress, we just want to give you an idea of what to expect when this mattress arrives. So uh, as you can see here, you're looking at the Puffy before we've unboxed it. It's a pretty standard size box. Uh, bear in mind, this is a twin size. Normally we're opening up queen size boxes, but uh, this is about the same size you'd normally see a queen come in. And in fact, it may in fact be the same box that they do use for the queens because they can compress these things so much that they can oftentimes just use the same box. But uh, in any case, uh, we're going to go ahead and open it up and then give you our first impressions of any kind of off-gassing we experience. Okay, there you have it, the Puffy Mattress uh, unboxed. Uh, again, this is a twin size we're looking at here, which is why it's um, not 
fitting on our queen size bed frame, you know, it's not as obviously doesn't match up. But um, the most important thing we want to do is just give you a sense of any kind of initial off gassing we're experiencing here. And I mean, I could tell you, I could get a little, a little of that kind of typical new mattress smell from this distance, and you know, and certainly, certainly get some when I get my nose up close to the mattress. I'd say. Hey, it's pretty typical um, you know I wouldn't it's not something uh, completely um, more than the average but it's definitely in line it's not less either so I'd say it's, a, it's about a typical kind of new mattress smell for an all foam mattress that we that we unbox so there you have it the unboxing of the puffy mattress three things that are gonna be important anytime you're buying a mattress online are delivery return policy and warranty in the case of delivery, Puffery offers pretty standard free delivery to your doorstep. Uh, and then from there, you're gonna be responsible for bringing it to your bedroom and unboxing it, just like we showed you earlier in the video. In terms of the return policy, Puffy offers, uh, again, uh, a, a nice standard 101 night trial uh, where you can try it in your house. Uh, for, and during that time, you can return it for any reason if it's not uh, meeting your needs. Um, if you do have an issue where you do want to return it, they're going to ask that you donate it. Um, and if you can't find anywhere to donate, they'll actually help you out in that regard and help you find somewhere that can, that can take it. In terms of the warranty, Puffy does tout a lifetime warranty on both of these mattresses, which sounds pretty spectacular on the face of it. Uh, but we always, of course, like to get a little under the, under the hood on stuff like this. And uh, one thing I would point out is that the most important term in any mattress warranty is not the length of time that it covers. It is what do they define to be an allowable body impression under the terms of the warranty, meaning how deep does a body impression have to be? And bear in mind, these are always measured with no one on the mattress. Uh, how deep does it have to be before it's considered a valid warranty claim issue? Uh, in the case of the puppy mattresses, they define that to be an inch and a half, which is the standard uh, for most innerspring mattresses uh, in the United States. That being said, innerspring mattresses, one of the reasons why their standard is what it is, is because they tend to have a lot of like pillow top type of stuff, which uses polyester fibers, uh, low grade foams to create a lot of surface softness, uh, which do break down much quicker. And so uh, that's why their standard is an inch and a half. Whereas uh, the standard really for a memory foam over foam type of construction with a unquilted surface the way uh, these puffy mattresses have is about three quarters of an inch. So this is certainly significantly uh, higher than those, than those standards. Um, so just bear that in mind that it's gonna have to be a pretty significant visible body impression before it would be qualifying for a warranty claim. Uh, on the other side of this though, what we would say is quite impressive about this warranty is that not only is it lifetime, but it is also non-prorated. Uh, so pretty much what that means is that at any point out in the future, as long as you are still using this mattress and you are the original owner, if it does reach that one and a half inch threshold, you are going to have a valid warranty claim and you will not be out of pocket any amount of money to have that uh, mattress repaired or more likely replaced. So uh, on balance, we would say this is uh, a pretty good warranty but we, it doesn't really change in any way our normal advice, which is that a mattress warranty is really never a reason to buy any one mattress over another. One thing that's important to just about every mattress shopper is value. And when we think about value, we always think about how much does it cost, what's in it, and how long do we think it's going to last. In terms of the cost, the current prices of the Puffy and Puffy Luxe mattresses are $11.50 for a queen size Puffy and $17.95 for a queen size Puffy Luxe. In terms of what you're getting for that, with the Puffy mattress, you're getting a 10 inch uh, memory foam over foam mattress or gel memory foam over foam mattress uh, with two inches of really that kind of premium comfort material on top plus a, trans a two inch transition layer. Um, and with the Puffy Luxe, you're getting really three inches of that premium memory foam uh, material on top with again a two inch transition layer below it in a 12 inch total mattress. Um, in terms of uh, how long we think that's going to last, we would most often turn to foam densities as our best, albeit imperfect, predictor of longevity. And in the case of these puffy mattresses, unfortunately the company does not, as a policy, disclose these densities. So um, we're a little bit flying blind as it relates to 
um, you know, maybe making an estimation of how long we think this mattress will hold up. The one thing we do uh, have the ability to do is look at the overall weight of these mattresses and we of course know their cubic volume based on uh, their dimensions uh, and we can sort of uh, come up with some uh, bookend ballparks of what we think the foam densities might be. Um, those aren't enough to give us any certainty around like what the, the foam densities are but what we can tell you is that they're those bookends don't allow us to rule out the possibility that these densities are on the lower end. So that's why we say it's unfortunate that we can't share the actual densities with you. In terms of the overall value, in terms of how all this kind of adds up, um, what we would say is that for one thing we want to point out that Puffy tends to offer pretty generous discounts, very significant in fact on both of these mattresses and uh, so we would certainly recommend that you go to Goodbed and and take advantage of those you're always going to find the best available discounts on good bed and we'll include a link uh, in the video uh, description below uh, to do that but so we would we would probably say in this case more so than even most we would not recommend buying these mattresses without that discount uh, in the case of the regular puffy i believe that that discount um, takes the product down from being uh, into the level where we would certainly say it's a it's a good value relative to what you'd find in a traditional store and and i certainly would say it's in the ballpark with really their other online peers that offer kind of similarly constructed mattresses um, as it relates to the puffy lux i have a little bit of a harder time justifying uh, just on paper the step up in price between these two essentially uh, the difference in price, even net of the, the big discounts that I mentioned, uh, is going to be in the ballpark of $500. And for that, you're getting basically an extra inch of that memory foam up on top and an extra inch of support foam down at the bottom. Um, and so just on paper, that feels like a big step up in price. That being said, um, I want to say about both of these mattresses that I really do believe, having tested hundreds of mattresses, uh, both from online peers as well as the traditional brands, that I do believe these puffy mattresses each offer a distinct and unique feel. Um, this, this sort of breed of puffy, super soft memory foam up on top of the mattress is kind of a unique sensation that I think is going to be appealing for a certain segment of the population. Um, and so if you're in that segment of the population where you think that the feel that we described here and the characteristics we've shown you uh, are going to be a good match for you. Uh, we definitely would say that the Puffy Lux offers more of that feel than the Puffy. We also talked about how, uh, in my opinion, it offers uh, significantly better pressure relief for a side sleeper uh, than the regular Puffy. And given the amount of time that you're going to spend on uh, any mattress you buy, you know, a third of your life for however many years. I think in that context, it certainly is easy for me to justify uh, this step up in price uh, for the Puffy Lux. So just to summarize some of the things we've covered in this video, the Puffy and the Puffy Lux mattress are a pair of gel memory foam over foam mattresses that are 10 and 12 inches and offer a medium and medium soft feel respectively. Uh, we talked about how both of these mattresses have a very unique kind of a signature Puffy feel to them. Uh, which you could almost characterize as like a marshmallow layer on top. Um, you know, they look like a marshmallow and just at least on the top part of the mattress, they almost feel like a marshmallow insofar as they have this super cushy, soft memory foam on the top of them. Uh, but underneath which you find a firm foam support layer uh, underneath to keep, make sure your heavy parts don't sink too far into the mattress. Um, we did talk about how in general, uh, these, for various reasons, we tend to not recommend these mattresses for heavier people, but definitely tune into our back support and pressure relief uh, section for more detail on specifically which types of heavy people we were had concerns in terms of which mattresses. But, but overall, for people who are, are light, my weight or lighter, we felt like this was gonna suit a, a wide range of sleepers and sleep positions. We certainly felt that the Puffy Lux was going to be a better match for most side sleepers just due to it having, in my opinion, uh, noticeably superior pressure relief. 
um, and also a greater ability to conform to your body's curves to ensure uh, proper spinal alignment in your uh, side sleeping position. Um, we talked about how the, if you're looking for a mattress that um, has a lot of bounce, you're not going to find that on either of these, nor are you going to find a really firm mattress if that's the kind of thing that you're looking for. Uh, however, if you're looking for mattresses that have excellent motion isolation, mattresses that, uh, especially for an all foam mattress, have, have good edge support, um, mattresses that do have this very unique feel, um, in the case of the Puffy offering that feel in the form of like a medium level of softness with a medium cushioning depth, and in the case of the Puffy Lux, more of just softer than medium type of feel with more of a hugged and cradled type of sensation. Uh, and if all of the other characteristics uh, and criteria that we described in this video sound like a good match, then we most definitely think that both the Puffy and the Puffy Lux are ones that you should consider. So we hope you found this video helpful in determining whether the Puffy or the Puffy Lux mattress are the right mattress for you. If you're still not sure though, we'd really recommend that you go to goodbed.com and take our mattress match quiz, which you can find right on the homepage of our website. We really think this is the best starting point for any mattress shopper because it will go through all of the same criteria and considerations that we covered in this review and in all of our reviews. And ultimately we'll search across all the brands uh, and stores, both in your area as well as the ones online to show you options that best match your personal needs and preferences. And the other thing we'd remind you is that we do work hard to compile the best available discounts really across the whole market. So before you buy, no matter what you're planning to buy, do be sure to go to GoodBed and check those discounts to make sure you're getting the best possible price on that product. In the meantime, we thank you for watching and we really hope you sleep well.